Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, just to give you a bit of an update, and um, from your point of view, there's an opportunity for some fantastic bargains. And um, anyone who's watching the video uh, channel will be literally the first to know about it. Uh, clearly, my shop or my business is split into two bits. 99% of what I do is consultative, conversational, chit chat online, um, and then giving people advice based on well, 23, 24 years, I think now in, in the, uh, in, in what I do. And, um, <clears throat> so naturally I have my personal selection, personal favorites, and that's what I love. That's, that's the, the core of the business, my personal selections and things that I love to raise awareness of. Now that personal selection should be what you see when you go into the shop. That would be my perfect world. That would be the core of my stock. However, Regrettably, because of the popularity of the recommendations, naturally because I'm recommending them, um, combined with the fact that they're just damned hard to get hold of, I'm always struggling to keep these guitars available. I mean, it's simple as that. So through the year, I've been working on plans with my various suppliers to have more of these available by getting them in production through the year. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> uh, but as well as that, there are just natural developments. Like um, I've not been able to talk to you yet about the Dan Electro guitars, which are really fun and funky guitars um, with a lot of history, uh, which I've been dying to do a video. I just haven't physically had time to tell you about it. The Italia guitars, which are amazing. The Fret Kings, um, I think I may have mentioned, but but there's a number of things that are going on and product is coming into the shop, which I can't profile properly within my own walls of my shop because the shop's just full. So I need, now there's another thing happening, which I don't want to bore you to death with the details. <clears throat> the floor, but I'll say it quickly. We're in an old building, well, you know, so the shop, uh, it's next to a river. The, the building has a cellar. The cellar is underneath the kitchen and the floor has rotted. <laughs> so the kitchen is on a time bomb. Um, not the kitchen, the, 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 well, yes, under the kitchen. It's a convert, our workshop, the workshop was the kitchen. And still is kettle. We don't use a kitchen, but it's a, it's a workshop. It's where our workshop is. So the, the workshop has got to be moved into a, a certain aspect of our display area. So this is going to be a complete nightmare, but, um, so that's going to take up more space as well. So I've just thought, look, I've got to get stuff cleared. Um, we've got to create space. I want a showroom that represents my personal favourites. And uh, I've got a lot of Gordon Smiths that have come in. Just the list goes on. There's so many really exciting, lovely guitars that I want to show people, uh, which are stuck in boxes because I just don't have space to put them. So I've got secondhand guitars, for example, that I've not been... Um, able to list because I don't have time to list those either. So there's another example. I've got a Joe Satriani JS1000 as one basic example. I've had that in my in, 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 a, in a box for God knows how long. And um, it's an absolutely stunning guitar in burnt blue, one of my favorite rock guitars of all time. And I haven't had a chance to put it on the website. So now I've got Richard Mark II, free upgrade, <clears throat> um, involved, which I told you about last week. He is going to give me the time to focus on doing all of this stuff. So um, that's really exciting. You know, getting Richard in is a key part of how I can now develop my shop and improve my shop. So there you go. It's a bit of a head. Oh, my my sofa in the shop. If you're a regular to the shop or have been in the shop and seen my sofa, uh, that's been another victim. I've um, I've decided that it's it's never got people sitting on it because it's always covered in boxes or guitars so um the um uh, the the sofa has gone to make way for more guitars so from your point of view i i would recommend clicking on the chat um just ask me anything anything you're thinking about buying what i'll do is i will just tell you what is close to what you're asking about that i could do you a deal on and clear out the shop that might be the best way but I will, over the next few days, be putting together a definitive list of everything that needs to go. And uh, I'm really not looking to, it's not really a profit-driven exercise, so I just want to get space. 
So anything you can do to help me clear some space would be great. And um, so, you know, benefit from it while it's going on. I'd like to hope that, where are we? I don't know, mid, mid, mid-September. mid It'd be lovely to think that we could get a lot of this done by the end of the month, I suppose. A couple of weeks of clearing stock out would be perfect. Um, I've already got Rich today putting all of the kind of non-essential stuff that I don't necessarily need. Perfectly lovely guitars, but just stuff I don't need to have on display. We're putting it all into one sort of location of the shop to to, to really, uh, so hopefully by the end of the day, he'll have really improved my displays and put out a lot of the stuff that I've been kind of not being able to put out. But it but we'll then end up with a pile of guitars that I need to just get rid of. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's the update. So it's basically a sale. Yay! People like sales, don't they? Okay, cheers. Okay, thanks very much. Bye. Bye.